Welcome back guys to my GTA 6 news series. Today we have a ton of information to go over. We have a huge change for all Rockstar Game Studios starting in a few weeks. We have a potential delay. We have new information on weather in GTA 6 and AI controlled players in GTA 6 Online. So let's dive into the new gameplay details that we have in relation to weather effects in GTA 6. Now what you're seeing was accidentally leaked by a Rockstar employee in their camera roll in a thumbnail and this was actually being upscaled by this user on Twitter so we can actually read it which is super impressive they were able to capture this and upscale it before it was removed. So this reads additionally we are focusing on finalizing the weather dynamics particularly thunderstorms please work through 31 to 41 sets of your R9 Please make sure NPC behavior and activities change depending on temperature. Now this is in relation to the NPC behavior in GTA 6 and how people will dynamically react to the weather. For example, when there's a thunderstorm, people will run for shelter, they'll pull out their umbrellas. When the weather clears off, they'll put their umbrellas away and you know they'll change appropriately and wear appropriate clothing depending on the weather. And it's a fact that Florida has a higher frequency of tornadoes than any other state in the southeast US. So I am expecting there to be quite a few weather related events in this game. Now I have verified this did come from a real Rockstar developer but I won't be mentioning his name. It's very likely this is very against the rules of working at Rockstar Games to take pictures of work on your personal device for this exact kind of reason that they could be leaked online. Now the next piece of gameplay information was actually from a couple months ago but I haven't covered it in a video yet but it's to do with auto-generated players. So have you guys ever tried to play a team deathmatch or another multiplayer mode in GTA 5, but you can't because there's no other players and it doesn't seem to match make, there's nobody else playing that exact same game mode. Super frustrating. Well, Rockstar have actually um, changed this with auto-generating AI players for online game modes. And this is basically gonna just look like bots who will look and act like human players. And this has been added into their terms of service that there will be computer controlled players that will look and play like real people. If you're enjoying this video so far, please take a few seconds to leave a like and subscribe. All right, next up, let's talk about the potential delays. Now this story was originally broken by Kotaku and then they updated their story. So this is the most updated story and information we have. Kotaku said they've now heard from more sources that while early 2025 was at one point possible, it's no longer the target for Grand Theft Auto 6's launch. As for why some believe this was the case, it seems this information was out of date and a symptom of Rockstar Games' tightening security and communication within the company. I'm told not everybody is always on the same page or kept up to date across the various departments and teams. Personally, I can confirm it's harder to nail down details since the leaks. However, the majority of sources were certain that an early 2025 is no longer possible. Instead, the target is firmly a fall 2025, and while most seem confident of hitting that date, I'm still told there's a possibility of a delay as previously reported. The delay was also picked up by Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, a very reliable and reputable source for Grand Theft Auto games. And he basically said the reality of the situation is that video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time, especially when they're as ambitious and under as much pressure as the next Grand Theft Auto. And there's so much time between now and the end of 2025 that even if the production was somehow going perfectly, it would still be impossible for anyone to state definitively that the game will be ready in 21 months. And as someone that's worked for multiple game publishers in my career, I can definitely attest to this statement that game development can be very messy. And it's very common to have internal deadlines that are repeatedly pushed back as the development takes longer than anticipated, especially when we're talking about Rockstar Games. Just look at Red Dead Redemption 2 that was pushed back a whole other year after it was announced. Now a potential major factor to these delays could be the change in policies that Rockstar Games are going to be enforcing as come April 15th in just a couple of weeks. They're going to be setting a new mandatory policy that will require all employees to work from the office five days a week. And previously staff had followed a hybrid schedule that had become common in many office jobs in the wake of the pandemic. Now this obviously wasn't a situation that was unique to Rockstar Games, this happened to thousands and thousands of companies across the world that were allowing their, their employees to 
work from home during the pandemic. And even after the pandemic, a lot of companies just did not go back to their offices and Rockstar Games allowed employees for quite a few years to work remotely. According to Rockstar Games, a huge reason for this policy change is first of all the security breaches. In 2022, we had a huge dump of early footage of GTA 6 and also a leak of the trailer just hours before it was scheduled to go live. A Rockstar executive even stated to employees that it was for project security and team productivity, putting an emphasis on the former and stated that the developers would no longer be able to log into the company's network from outside of the office. Although this access has been invaluable for remote work, it is currently the single largest data security exposure we have. And I can definitely appreciate this is a difficult situation for employees to be in. You know, on the one hand, I can understand from the company's perspective, making a video game is a very collaborative experience. Being in the office is likely a lot more productive than having everybody remotely from home or talking over Slack or um, virtually. But then on the other hand, a lot of employees could actually be more productive from home. They don't have to spend time commuting, waste money commuting, and actually get to spend more time with their families at home. But there's definitely no question here that this is a huge policy change that is actually going to impact the development of GTA 6. Having all these employees moving back into the office is going to be a huge move. A lot of people likely have literally moved away from the office and are going to have to either choose to quit their job or relocate back closer to the office. And then we also have all of these people that don't want to relocate back to the office. Rockstar will have to find um, people to replace them, hire new staff, which is a whole other process, again, providing further delays. If you're enjoying the video so far, please take a few seconds to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 6 news.